Welcome to All Things Real Estate CRM. My name is Gary David Hall. Today I'm going to review unique and notable features in Top Producer. If I go to Find a CRM and Residential CRM, and I can either scroll down here to Top Producer or I have the same ones listed here with a little bit of a description and if we get all the way down the top producer and go to full details this is the top producer review page and again if we scroll down we'll see unique or notable features and that's what I'll be reviewing today but in video so we'll log in to Top Producer, which will take us to the home page. And the purpose of today is not to look at common features that are their common core functions to all the better CRMs, but to look at unique features and notable features, notable being something maybe that isn't unique, but maybe is better or different than some of the other CRMs. So a good place to start with top producer is the fact that the color theme is adjustable if I go to settings in the general settings the first thing you'll see is theme and we're currently in top producer blue we could go to flame I haven't looked at this one let's see what it looks like hmm yeah I don't think so so we'll go back to settings and We'll stick with uh, Top Producer Blue. And back to the home screen. <clears throat> I personally am not a big fan of a lot of scrolling as far as the pages go. So we can see here that there aren't, there isn't a whole lot of scrolling here. And there are five sections on the home page. My business, which is just that, the calls you need to do today, your to-dos, your listing to-dos, closing to-dos, and so on. Far from unique, uh, I do like that they're separated. S a lot of the CRMs really pretty much have everything just in one group. Uh, I, I kind of like this better, personally. Sales pipeline, the follow-up coach, and then your closings and your listings. So... We're not going to really look at my business because that's common to all of them in one way or another, in one format or another. Uh, nor will we look at closings or listings. We're going to look at the sales pipeline, which is not totally unique, but relatively unique in the real estate specific CRM world. And uh, I, I like this. I call it in your face. I like my brand new leads to be right on my home page and by the way my business okay all these sections I can shift them around so now my sales pipeline is on the top which maybe is appropriate because if you do have any new leads although you will be notified by text or email that you got them might be nice to look at them right on your home page and same with the follow-up coach which we'll get to but that being on your home page I like as well with many CRM's if you want to know what's where your brand new leads and or your hot prospects which is what top producer calls engaged if you want to know where they are you have to do a search so that's why I like it on your home page in your face these are the people you need to stay in touch with now uh, brand new engaged future being as it as the uh, pop up here says long-term opportunities your active buyers and sellers and your past buyers and sellers as I click on these different groups here I have the people last time I contacted them which is I can order by where it came from what kind of buyer they are uh, their primary contact method if you have a team you can assign the leads to someone else 
you can change the pipeline status, which up here you don't see inactive and non-client, which non-client would be something like a title company, mortgage company, something like that. From this initial screen, I can also apply an action plan. So if they look like a good high, uh, hot buyer prospect, I can launch a plan. I can create a note. Or if I call them and they turn out to be nothing, then I can just delete them right from here. Future, that's nice to see them listed, but no great shades. Seeing my active buyers and sellers, that's that's good to my past. And, oh, this, this reminds me to point out that, no, this is not a real database. This is a demo database. I don't have 4,700 closed transactions. That would be nice, but that's not the case. So that's your sales pipeline. Like I said, I like that it's in your face. In part two, the follow-up coach and more. If you're considering trialing or purchasing Top Producer, I would very much appreciate it if you would go through my site. You will not find it for less anywhere, as is true with all the CRMs on my site. If you'd like to talk about pricing, uh, by all means, give me a ring at 215-345-5222 or stop by my site. You can order it by clicking on the trial or purchase button here. You'll see my name up here. Buy online. Click here. You will only see the $39.95 price online. That is not the lowest price they offer. I do offer it always at the lowest price, but no one is allowed to market it at that. So uh, you may also give me a ring and we'll, I can take the order manually from you and tell you what the price is. Thanks. I started in real estate sales in 1987 and started using a DOS real estate CRM called Real Estate Specialist in 1988. I've watched literally every single one of them come out since then. And all of that information and much more is on this website. There are, there's the better part of 100 pages here. Uh, please take advantage of it. There's nowhere else like it on the Internet. Thank you. Again, my name is Gary David Hall.